Good evening, everyone. A local woman was dumped in a cistern in 1996, and family members never gave up hope that her murder would be solved. Now it appears that's happened. Jackie Ann Bonner's body was found in a cistern all those years ago, and now nearly 20 years later, the Campbell County Grand Jury indicts a suspect. Joseph Morgan now faces murder charges. Local 12 News reporter Brad Underwood broke the story. First at four, he talked to Bonner's daughter and joins us in the newsroom with more. Brad? Well, Rob, quite the range of emotions the Bonner family has felt over the past 24 hours, well, the last 18 years, really. And can you imagine waiting that long after a parent was murdered before you're told that someone has been indicted for the crime? Well, that's exactly how long Jacinta Bonner waited. But finally, she says she got the phone call that gave her chills. In 1996, Campbell County police pulled a body out of a cistern so badly decomposed it took a year to identify it as the body of Jackie Ann Bonner. A nationally renowned forensic anthropologist and hard police work connected those dots allowing them to identify Bonner. It wasn't a secret that Bonner abused drugs and alcohol. And in fact, her daughter Jacinta says she and her brother were removed from Bonner's care at a young age and didn't even know she was missing let alone dead. We knew that she lived in Cincinnati. We didn't really have much contact with her um, because of her lifestyle. Now, 18 years later, a grand jury has indicted 48-year-old Joseph Morgan on murder charges. Jacinta Bonner says when the prosecutor's office called her yesterday, they told her Morgan confessed to the killing. Once she hung up, her brother was the first call. You could just hear like that weight. And him being my brother, I know, because we, we share this, and it's still hard for us. Bonner is a sergeant first class in the Army and is stationed at Fort Riley in Kansas. She says she often thought about her mother and frequently tried to find updates. I actually, you know, Googled the names of, of the, the police officers and detectives and, and the people that was in the uh, newspaper clippings, because that's all I had was newspaper clippings. Morgan is already in the Campbell County Jail on charges of parole violation and contempt of court. Now at this point, it's unclear what connection, if any, there is between Bonner and Morgan. Jacinta did tell me that she will forever be grateful to the Campbell County Police and the prosecutor's office for never giving up on this case, Rob. So we don't know what happened in order to bring these two things together. And that's uh, something that Jacinta told me today, that that's the next step. That's the next question they want answered. Also, you know, what was the last day of life for her mother like? Those questions still unanswered tonight. All right, thanks very much. Morgan will remain in the Campbell County Jail until his arraignment on the murder charge. No date has been set for that.